What's up guys, it's Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing good out there. Uh, having a great weekend so far. It's gonna be Saturday when this goes up. Um, wanted to let you guys know this video may be a little longer. I've got some stories to tell along the way and kind of show you guys everything that we picked up. Uh, me and Grayson, went down to some shops and we wound up going to Lionel and stuff. I had been promising him to take him and just was sick during the month of June and you know he had been asking so I finally found the time to do so and I'm going to show you the stuff that he got and the cards the hero cards and stuff that are going to be shown are his. I have a stack of my own. And also want to let you guys know some of these hero cards I did uh, manage to get a couple extras. So um, some of them they were stingy with and they kept them behind the counter. But some uh, I was able to grab a couple just so um, uh, when we run a sale or something I'll be able to put those in it and offer them uh, up and you might want one uh, if you're watching this and interested. I'm thinking about maybe in the next a week or so uh, running a sale uh, just haven't made up my mind yet uh, possibly the ne within the next week there'll be more to come on that so stay tuned uh, and we'll let you guys know it's gonna have to be ran on a Friday night because where I go to Bowman Gray and stuff on Saturdays it's just not manageable for me to do so so uh, just stay tuned for that and I'm going to stop rambling because we're two minutes in and I haven't showed the first thing. All right, so we went down to some shops and we seen some friends of ours at the shops and stuff and, um, and whatnot. So uh, I'm going to get going and start with this Austin Dillon signed hero card from Team Dillon Management. We've gotten to be friends with Miss Miranda down there. Shout out. Not saying she's going to watch this. Very nice lady and uh, has became pretty good friends with uh, me and Gray. So she gave us that. Not only did she do that, but she told Grayson to come and see her during the summer and she would have him some stuff. So she went to the back and brought him out this. This is kind of a, I don't know if you would consider this maybe a sample card, but Austin Dillon signed the back. Grayson was wondering like, why did he sign the back? Nonetheless, pretty cool. And then she come out with this shirt. She said, I know it's big a large but she said it's kind of all she could find but she said this was like an exclusive Austin Dillon shirt that like the team members or something would wear so she wanted to uh, give Grayson that and then the last piece I think is, is one of the best ones this is uh like one of the coca-colas that Austin has in his hand at the racetrack and look guys it is signed now Grayson's not going to open this this is going to go up in his room He's gotten a signed visor from Austin, and uh, he has that up in his room as well. So uh, he's gonna add that uh, with it. So that's what we got there, pretty awesome. And I wanna say thank you to her for the kind gestures that she has done for my son. And she told him to come back and see her, uh, and she would have some more stuff in the fall. So. We went from there and we went over to our motorsports. Now they didn't really have much to choose from other than this Blaine Perkins. And it is a throwback to Kevin Harvick, the payday car. So that's pretty cool. Then we went down to RCR and we were really excited about these. The new 2023 Richard Childress. I'll take time and try and show each back. We got uh, Sheldon Creed. That's 2023. Basically, everything you're going to see is 2023. Austin Hill. Austin Dillon Bet MGM. The Get Biophenol. And Grayson was really happy to get these Kyle Bushes. We got the Net Spin. Cheddar Scratch. I think we already had that one. The three chi, the Alsco uniforms, 
and then uh, we went from there and went to Colic. Well, it got interesting. We went into Colic. We were looking around the reception lady. We kind of know her. She was very friendly as always. And then we asked her about going out on the little lookout thing right there and the, look at the shop floor and some of the employees were saying hey to Gray and saying what's up and all. And then out of nowhere comes Justin Haley out of the little side office. And we asked him to get a picture um, and all. And then we asked him what he signed a hero card for us. So he signed uh, mine and Grayson's. So that was pretty cool. And then we also picked up the Poppy Bank for Hemrick. And then the uh, Circle, Your Water, Your Way. We got uh, AJ Almendinger Campers in RV. And then the Nutrient AG Solutions. And then we got Chandler Smith on the quick tie systems and it is signed because when we were fixing the back up here come chandler smith driving up i mean he got out of his car and he was walking towards the building so of course we're going to stop him we got a picture with him and he signed our postcards so that's pretty cool thanks to uh chandler and um justin haley for that we really did appreciate that all right, moving along, we also got this. Grayson's gotten like three of these now. I think she gives him one every time. He's wanting me to make him a custom out of this. So I don't know, we'll see what happens with that. Um, he's wanting me to change the scheme and all. So then we left from there and we went over to uh, McNally, uh, Bill McNally Racing. And that is home to Christian Eckes and Jake Garcia, and I feel like I'm forgetting somebody else. But anyways, went over there, and we went into the lobby. It's always hard to get hero cards there, but we seen a gentleman standing in the office, in an office door, and I was telling Grayson, I said, I think that's Christian Eck, because it really looks like him from behind. I couldn't see his face or anything, just kind of his feet, legs, and back part. And it looked like it, like it was uh, Christian Eck. So it come out, it was. I was like, hey, uh, you got time to sign and I said we got a couple things in the car so I told Grayson to stay inside and I was gonna go grab the cards to talk to Christian while I was gone so that's pretty cool they had their little time to chat for a couple minutes came back and he signed all of mine and Grayson's cards and that's not the first time we've seen Christian there he remembers us uh, from before meeting us in there so that was cool I don't think I have any more Christian Eckes unless it's the new 22 Don Russ to get signed. And then went back and he had gave Grayson two hero cards. Gates Hydraulics and the Instacoat Premium. And I had an Apple one. It's in my stack. I'm not going to do. But Grayson had this on his head. Christian Eckes literally give him his personal hat right off of his head and signed it for him so of course that's going up in the room for Grayson Grayson's just racking up it seems like every trip we take of these things he's always getting something and it's just uh never ending so to speak and that's cool I mean they're they're literally putting him uh as a bigger and bigger and bigger fan so to speak over time and that's what you want you want the younger generation to fall in love with the love of racing and they are they are helping coach him right along so to speak we left from there right down the road is uh gms racing slash legacy motor club so uh we wound up getting this uh wendell scott foundation raja Karut. they had some other stuff but we already had those cards and i didn't want to kind of double dip so to speak but uh nonetheless uh we, we got this one me and him uh both because we just don't have a lot for Raja to sign, so it'd be cool to uh, get him on that. And that is the back of that one. Sorry, I failed to show the back of those Ekases. And then uh, she gave us this, a nice reception lady that's our buddy there. And uh, we have been wanting this one, so it was nice to, um, to get that. No, this is not damaged. It's just made like that to look kind of weathered, so to speak. So uh, really awesome there to have gotten that one. And then uh, she gave Grayson 
this win sticker from Worldwide Technology. The team members and stuff get this. So she kind of gifted Grayson with that. So that was an awesome piece. I mean, he just, like I said, he gets stuff left and right. It seems like every time we go on these trips, he's coming back with something that somebody gifted him. And that's awesome. And we really do appreciate when they do that for him. All right, left from there, went over at Junior's. Uh, went, kind of went what I wanted to go for, and that was the Wyatt Miller card. So me and Grayson got that. They had those on Fan Fest Day, but we didn't get to go. I wanted the Hellman's card, but she said they didn't have that one. This was an added bonus. Didn't realize they had a Carson Quapple, so uh, wanted to pick that one up as well. We left from there, went by Tricon. They had never had cards throughout the year up until, I guess, you know, probably a month, month or so ago, but I haven't been down. But I got this Willem Sawalich. Then I got Corey Hine. I think some of these may have blank bags. I'm not sure. Taylor Gray. So nice to get some stuff for these people that we really generally don't have nothing for. Tanner Gray. Uh, another Corey Heim. That one's a blank back. Dean Thompson. And the one that shocked me the most they had some of sitting there was this. And I was really, really excited to get this. Our first ever Tony Brydinger hero card. I've never had a card of her. So uh, really happy to have uh, been lucky enough to get one of those. And that is a blank back as well. All right, we left from there and we went over to uh, the Bell Company. And that didn't pan out what we thought was going to happen. So uh, we won't go into details on that. But we did ma manage to get this Dallas Glenn autograph hero card that they had kind of there on the desk. The guy said uh, Grayson could have one. And I think he gave me one too. And Grayson was like, this is like uh, Kyle Larson. I said, yeah, that's the same sponsorship. But Mr. Greg Anderson... Five-time Pro Stock champ. Most wins in Pro Stock history. He is a uh, living legend for sure in the Pro Stock division for uh, the NHRA. So it's nice to get that. Left from there. Um, and we went to Tipico. Tipico. God, I'm reading the darn card. We went to uh, Front Row. And uh, we got these. Got Michael McDowell. We got Todd Gillen, the generator skills. Then we got this Todd Gillen boot barn. And then we got one more. And I, I want to tell a little story behind this before I show this card. This card that I'm about to show, Mr. Joshua Sunberg. Hopefully he doesn't get mad at me for saying his first and last name. Better known as Cleveland Card Connection or CCC. Some of you. Josh, I don't know what you guys know him as. Um, he was actually on this very truck. Now, it doesn't show it here. It's just a mock image. But he was on the back of this, and there was 30, um, five other people, including him, so 36 total on that truck. And kind of from going in that shop over a period of time, I've kind of... You know, been, we've been remembered when we go in and stuff. Um, now, Zane or Todd or Michael or any of them was there, uh, which we've seen them all there before over a period of time. But anyways, long story short, uh, we asked, could I potentially, because you're not supposed to go on the shop floor where they have the signs, could we potentially please uh, go out? And I wanted to get a picture of the uh, bed there of his name. And I told him, you know, who his name was, you know, and what his name was and everything like that. And I said, not looking to snoop around, just wanted to do that. Well, that turned into us getting a private tour of the whole shop there. Uh, Grayson got to go on the haulers and everything, gave him snacks. I mean, it was kind of, it was awesome. Shout out to uh, the lady uh, over marketing that done that. Uh, very, very nice. And we really did appreciate the hospitality that we received there at Front Row. Uh, a plus in my opinion those people's always been nice to us over there and i uh, can't really say a bad word about any of them there so uh shout out to them and um we got what we wanted we got the pictures and josh was happy when i sent it to him he was kind of confused but he was excited to see them 
anyways, moving right along, we went and got lunch. That from there, went over to 2311. And uh, shout out to that lady that works there too, the receptionist. Uh, she's very nice, uh, very, um, very, very nice. And she actually helped me and Grayson out. And she said, if there's some cards that you want that's not out, let me know. And I said, well, we'll take one of each or whatever you got. So she started digging and she come out with all this that we're about to show. And there are some ones that I really wanted. Now this is from last year, that Kurt Bush. But the rest of these are 2023s. Now, I think I have this card, but a lot of these coming up, I don't have. Like this Tyler Reddick, I don't think we, we even have that. So, it's nice to get these Reddicks, too, because um, I really don't have much for Tyler Reddick, if anything at all. There's Bubba with the Dr. Pepper. So, it's nice to, uh, to get these so we can get them signed. And I don't think Grayson has much, either. There is Bubba. We all know Grayson's love for Bubba, and I'm just joking with him. He uh, he just doesn't like Bubba. It's nothing against you know skin color or anything. He just we always give him a hard time. Tyler Reddick. You know everybody has their drivers they don't like, and it just so happens to be his. There's Bubba, but now he's nice to him when he sees him, and he appreciates him when he stops and signs and stuff. There's Reddick. Like I said. Happy to get all these Reddicks because uh, we were we were running low. Now the rest of these are really really nice. This Talladega one was a tougher one to get, as well as I, I believe this Columbia Sportswear. And then uh, this one right here was really exciting. He being a Carolina Tar Heels fan, got the jump man there with the Carolina blue. Tyler Reddick. This would be six signed by Reddick, and um, I guess you could get Danny on it, and then uh, Michael Jordan. Wouldn't that be sick? All right, so we went to a couple other shops. I stopped to see if Tyler Ankrum was there. Um, he wasn't, because I got a cat that he gave uh, me and Grayson that we wanted to get signed, and then left from there, went to, uh, let's see, KBM. Now, KBM is actually closed now you can shop online but it's like select days after each race it's like monday or something it's weird very weird timing for that i don't understand what's going on there maybe remodeling i don't know low on staff who knows anyways um they didn't they wasn't open so we left from there uh, but before we went there i actually forgot i got it over here we went to buy bj mcclouds so we got that Grayson said he didn't have that. I tried to tell him he does, but whatever. He can get it signed. Got this Josh Balicki, and these are really paper thin. And they look like they may have gotten moisture to them or something, but whatever. We didn't have it. Grayson wanted it. We got this uh, blaster, PB blaster there. And I think that may have been uh, the first one that they done this year. And then this one. I know we don't have this one, so this may be a 2023. I'm not sure. I'm not seeing the uh, logo there, but nonetheless, pretty cool to get. Left from there, uh, like I said, went to KBM, and then we went to Penske, which was one of our last stops before we went uh, on down to Concord. Got this Duracell, Austin Cindric. There's the Keystone Light. We didn't have either one of those or this one. The body armor sports drink there. So pretty awesome there. Thanks to all the teams for providing those. We was gonna go to RFK, they closed at four, so the track house we pulled on the door, it wouldn't open. And I was like, God, they did they closed at four and we were like twenty minutes late. But it's no big deal. Left from there, went down to Hendrix. Grayson has always wanted to go to Hendrix. Every time we've went in the prior pass, it's been during the COVID pandemic and the, the doors were always locked so we never was to see the museum he was just mesmerized seeing the larson cars obviously in there and all the stuff he was just going crazy and we were wanting postcards where they didn't have any and the, the guy informed us that they're not putting the postcards in there because people keep taking every one of them and that seems to be the problem across the board and if you're watching this and that's something you go and do shame on you but i'm not going to start on that Anyways, we did manage to get the 2023 team color 
poster home and away for Kyle Larson. You guys know me and Grayson. We collect him. And um, pretty happy to have gotten the 2023 version of that. And then right before I was leaving, the guy said, do you, uh, do you like Jeff Gordon? And I was like, yeah, I'm a longtime fan of his. Now, we all know what he done to me, and it kind of changed me a little bit. But still deep down, obviously, fan of Gordon. He gave me this, and this is a Sam Bass kind of a print. It says, hot new look from 2001. Sorry, it's just been rolled up. And it is a Sam Bass print. Can't really get it all. I don't know if I can do this or not. We're going to go for a little ride here. And that's the way it looks. Sorry, it's wanting to roll up on me. Still a cool piece. And I think they was actually selling those, if I'm not mistaken, but he he gave me one, so I really did appreciate that. And uh, we'll put it up, I guess, in the closet with all the other posters, or somewhere. We'll figure out something with it. But, left from there, Grayson was wanting to go to Lionel, so I promised him that trip. And... Um, we went over there. They were running a small sale. Grayson got a couple things. Um, and we're not going to show all that. You'll see them in videos eventually. But uh, they were running 15% off for 2022 cars. So I wound up finding this one. This was the only one left that they had of this specific car. Could have had some more in the back. But I highly doubt it. Because they were running low on freight. 2022 Kyle Larson. HendrickCars.com. Watkins Glen Wynn for Junior Motorsports, one of 828. Beautiful piece. This is not a die cast uh, review, but I will show it. Maybe eventually we'll put it on there or something. I don't know. But a pretty awesome piece. Race win. Didn't have this one. And I was looking at it and I was like, well, that gum, it is different than the, uh, than the standard one that had came out. So that's kind of what made me get it. And I, I initially was not getting this car until I, I guess I seen it in person because the instant cash offer from K Kelly Blue Book isn't on the other one. So there is a difference. And then obviously it's a race version. So I got DN 291. 291. So uh, that is everything, guys. We are 22 minutes in. Sorry for you guys taking up your time. If you are still here, you are the trooper of the pack. You are a true viewer of our channel. We do appreciate it. Thank you guys always for watching. Stay tuned for more. Sorry, I will continue to say sorry for not pumping out the content like I once did. Just a lot going on and uh, everything. But we're still alive. We're doing good, and we hope you guys are. Thank you so much for watching. This is Danny and Gray's Cards and Toys, and we will see you guys later. Take care, guys. God bless.